you guys welcome back and if you are new here my name is Noemi today I am going to take you for a pantry tour you guys have been requesting a lot so today I'm going to show you around what I have in my pantry I made a video on a capsule pantry and if you want to see that I will link it down below but basically I explain there how I choose and what I choose to fill up my jars with because I like to keep everything in the jars because one I get to see the food so I can decide what I like to cook or eat based on what I see instead of what the marketers trying to telling me like with the boxes like red box eat me <laughs> so I really like that I can see the food itself and also it's end proof and sometimes we get ends so I know my food is safe there because I will not share my food with the ants. Okay, so I'm going to start on the top and this is one of the funnest area of my pantry because I keep here all the baking stuff. So this is something I wouldn't say it's super healthy yet it doesn't have the artificial coloring. So I like to use this once in a while. That will be good for us for two years or even more or longer and also this is for decorating cupcakes and it's um, silver that you can eat although we don't eat a lot it's just really for to decorate and also in that area I keep all my dried flowers and these are so fun because I can make some teas out of them and I can just decorate a very plain food and like pancakes and any other cupcakes I can just decorate with that because this is a food grade one and if you are interested in it I have them down below in my Amazon store and this is my favorite the rose petals and because of the stove is right here it makes sense to keep all the spices right next to that so in this area I keep all the spices that I use for cooking and that would be a garlic powder and onion powder I like to have some dill even though I like the fresh one better I need this occasionally and it, when I need it I need a lot and I got some paprika uh, we eat lots of Hungarian food so we have the smoked paprika and the regular paprika we use this a lot I also have just a taco seasoning we do eat taco quite often and I like to keep the Italian um, seasoning because I can make spaghetti with that and just a pepper and here's the onion so usually I like to gather the two in a similar spot because I need to use both of them I have some dried parsley it's nice to decorate some foods when it's done and on the back I like to keep the less frequently used items and that would be chia seed that can be good for smoothies but sometimes I just like to use it for a uh, jam when I'm making jam it's usually I'm just cooking for a very short period of time some strawberries and I add the chia seed to it and I have some yeast if I make pizza I have cinnamon which is a true Ceylon uh, cinnamon so it's not the cassia it's a true cinnamon so the true cinnamon actually is healing the gut and the most common one, the, the cassia one, actually is not really favoring your gut. Um, I got some pumpkin pie spice, it's really nice especially when I'm making my breakfast bars. And since we are gluten free, I have a little bit of a sonatan gum, I don't use it too often but once in a while I need that. I also have some gelatin, for gelatin we like to keep two kind and this one is for cooking so I can make cheese with zucchini and gelatin and some garlic powder and nutritional yeast and it makes a perfect uh, cheese for us but I have some that we add to the smoothie as well and this section here is the fun part this is the tea so these are the teas that I love and I think I already mentioned some of them and that would be definitely an ultimate favorite is the Maui mango tea and I buy these at natural grocers and I have some other fun teas that can blossom in the jar as we put water on it and I have this in my Amazon store so I brought this through Amazon and it has a very nice jasmine taste and these are the teas that is 
ultimately healing me if I have something going on um, and I have some inflammation and it's called a ginger and turmeric. I keep the nettle tea for health reason because it pulls down the histamine if it's high and sometimes we have to deal with that. All the rest of them it's fun. It's a fireberry tea. I should show you this because this is amazing. And we have the chunky water melon tea which I'm going to make through the summer and I'm going to serve it with some ice cube in it. I have the classic chamomile and I have the elderberry which is supports the immune system and it has so much vitamin C in there and I have the blueberry wild child and this is really amazing tea it's got all kinds of berries in there that I got more it's called it's a blue tea it's very pretty and amazing and it helps improve the memory and if I have to focus a lot like editing I like to drink that I also like to have some black beans because I have a recipe where I make muffins with eggs and black beans and cocoa powder. I have some overflow from the tapioca starch so we will go down to the bottom drawer. But for now I want to show you, so this is when I don't fit into the jar, I just fill up another jar and I'm fine with that. And this is a coconut flour and this is not something I use a lot but once in a while it's great so this is enough for a year for me. I have some bay leaf, I use a lot of that because if I make a lentil soup I like to put this in there and also I got other soup recipes but lentils and bay leaves are doing so well together and I have some red lentils and I'm working on to make a recipe with that to create a muffin and I have some classic tapioca which I make with coconut milk I also have lots of poppy seeds so this is something that I like to spread on top of the fruits it's or just bake it into a poppy seeds muffin and this is the nutritional yeast and if you are dairy free this is something that could be a staple in your pantry because it has this soury tangy flavor but also it's packed with vitamin B so this is super nutritious. Okay, on the bottom, I like to keep all the staple ones. So that's why you see bigger jars here, because everything that we use, the most of it, I keep it right here. And I have the classic gluten-free and gluten-free flour from Costco, the Namaste brand. And I also have some cacao powder and I said cacao powder because this is a non-processed one. The cocoa is the processed and the cacao is the real stuff. And I will link everything in my Amazon store, whatever I buy from the Amazon, like the tapioca starch, the organic one. I use this a lot because it has a very a uh, bland taste to it so I can just play around with that but it's also very dense so I like to loosen up things with the almond flour which I'm kind of low now but I like to buy this at Costco so these two blends together so well if you bake as a gluten free I also have some organic rice pasta from Costco and I use this for stir fry and <laughs> If you watching me for a while, you have seen my haul. I got two big jars of rice and I still got more. <laughs> but these two jars is, uh, usually I have one, but recently I bought a bunch of rice because I got a good deal on it. But that's a staple. Another one that I keep a lot at home, that would be the coconut flakes and because I make coconut milk and sometimes I use two cups for one um, jar of milk so it can be very rich and creamy but that's something I, I take it as it would be a canned food because I can make that coconut milk literally in less than 10 minutes. On the bottom I have some Himalayan salt. I find this is the best because even sea salt is good, but they find so many plastic in there, so Himalayan seems to be a better option, and I, I got this from Amazon. I like to keep my coconut oil into jars, 
and I have some olive oil that I don't use for cooking uh, that's supposed to be used on a low temperature or cold so I like to use this for dressings so my goal was to fit into this two drawers but it didn't happen so I'm going to show you my overflow so in this drawer I like to keep all the emergency food and that would be a very few of tuna um, canned tuna and some sardines and I like to keep all the baking uh, flavors in here and some baking powder so all the things that I use for baking and honey and also it's something that is canned I don't use uh, lots of canned foods but some uh, just uh, it's just great to have at home if we have some kind of I don't know like if we have an earthquake or we don't have a power to cook sometimes it happens so we have some backup and in that area that would be one of my favorite okay so that that would be one of my favorite area and probably this is where I going beyond <laughs> when I go shop for things um, so I got some hibiscus flower powder and you might be familiar with that from my grocery haul I got this at Walmart and I have some moringa leaf which is amazing for healing diabetes and just a better digestion it helps to improve the digestion so this is great for smoothies so all these items here either goes into the smoothie or I like to use it as a coloring in some kind of like a coconut whipped cream or something that I want to color or popsicle for the kids and I have some spirulina which is very great for removing uh, heavy metals from the body so it's good for detox also I really like the taste of it and for that let's see what is that oh that's the beet powder <laughs> So with this, I think it has a gorgeous color and I think it's nice for smoothies. However, I do like to use fresh things in my smoothies. So that was something I bought. I'm going to use it up, but I don't think I'm going to purchase it again. Although it makes a beautiful color, but the taste is something I can get more with the hibiscus flower or with the goji berry powder so this is something I will repurchase again and I already created a recipe with that I was baking and I put it into the recipe and it turned out amazing also I really love this one so I will repurchase this one it is the pomegranate powder this is excellent to color food if you don't want to get those yucky things and you can use that besides oh smells heavenly it's Mmm, mm, so good you guys. So this is something I love to use in the smoothie and whenever we have a smoothie leftover I just put it into molds and the kids have popsicle. We like to use some collagen as well so that goes into the smoothie every morning and I have some pasta that is gluten free and organic so these mostly the dried items so I got more pasta for spaghetti and oh this is a very very good gluten free pasta I buy the same for spaghetti so it's the same brand because usually gluten free pastas are made from rice and that one is made from quinoa and what I like about this so it's got some rice flour that but mainly it's um, quinoa and it doesn't have corn in it and what I like about this pasta that it but as it gets cold um, the rice pasta tends to be the rice pasta tends to be very dry this one is more bouncy and close to the gluten ish um, taste I would say so I love that one and I like to cook that it's got this shape and I like to cook that one and this is something when we go out and and it's kind of like a hot day I like to use one can of tuna or two and some mayonnaise so basically it's like a tuna sandwich but instead of putting on a bread we mix it with a pasta so this would be my favorite area this is where we keep our smoothie ingredients besides the frozen fruits but this is the whole food area and 
in my pantry you cannot probably find something that you would eat right away but this is the area where I keep all the snacks and I have everything in there that I can create some kind of a snack like for example I ran out of the cocoa butter so that's something is a staple I forgot to tell you that and I want to show you what I made so basically this is just cocoa butter and dates and vanilla flavor nothing else in there just this three ingredients and the taste is similar as a white chocolate it's pretty amazing it's a good stuff so this is what I'm saying with my capsule pantry it's not necessarily something it filled with items that you can eat right away but I can create things really fast because this is literally I just you don't have to bake that it's just something I melt together and grind together in my food processor and I put it in the refrigerator and it's done in 10 minutes it's even less than go to the store and for snacks I have some popcorn and I like to keep it here so when my family goes around and check out what they can eat they get to see the option and I can make this in my pot in less than 10 minutes and I also have had <laughs> dried mango that's something that my family loves very much sometimes I cover it with chocolate it's good either that way or the other way I have some goji berry this is pretty yummy I really love this I like to put this into a chocolate or some kind of bar that I make but just itself it's really good too we got some peanut I'm already drooling here so we have some peanuts and that one is a dried apple it's really dry so it's crunchy so it's not the soft kind it's a freeze dried one from Costco and it's organic so this is mainly the area where my family comes to see and have some snack we have more bananas here and we actually running out of banana because we like to ripen them because it's better for the digestion to have so this is a perfect one to have a smoothie when you see this little dots on it this is when you get the most taste out of it and I have some onions there and I have some sweet potato that is again a staple onions you always need this for cooking and I have the the sweet potato and sometimes potato too I like to keep this rice in this bag that actually we use for a bunch of things like we put present in there on birthdays and we just put a fancy uh, bow on it but this is something I use throughout the year when we travel or I just want to keep something in there so it's perfect for the rice so this was a very quick uh, pantry tour for you guys and I have staples in there but it changes at time to time when I discover something new or we just get bored of something but this just helping me keep at bay because I have the biggest tendency to shop when I buy food <laughs> that's my weakest point I can behave in a shoe store I'm okay with that but with food no <laughs> with this system I'm able to keep on track how much we have and except the rice <laughs> we do use a lot of rice though I have to admit that I have two wood chippers of 13 and a 10 years old boy so we do eat a lot and rice is definitely one of our staple thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon bye